headlines of this bulletin, the conference to reveal the joint propaganda on sea and islands in 2020. The meeting on the Southern Regional Road Network planning in Kanto City. The online workshop with businesses in Hyogo Prefecture of Japan. Hello, it's good to have you back here in this edition of Continuous and Top News today. In the morning of December 16th, the conference to reveal the joint propaganda on sea and islands in 2020 between the Navy Technique Administration and the Publicity Education Board of Ramsey Cities of Lạng Sơn, Cao Bằng, Bắc Cạn, Thái Nguyên, Bắc Ninh, Phú Yên, Vĩnh Long, and Cần Thơ took place in Lạng Sơn City. In 2020, the Technic Administration and local publicity education boards combined and gave advices to party committees and authorities at all levels to well organize propaganda activities, supply timely information on legal base and history of conforming Vietnam's sovereignty over Hoàng Sa and Trường Sa or Paracel and Spratly Islands, big countries' plots on the East Sea, Sea and Island situations, viewpoints, guidelines, policies of our party and state, in tackling issues relating to seas and islands, reasons of protecting sovereignty of seas and islands. The Publicity Education Board updated propagandized and tightly oriented information on the East Sea situation, especially in the legal diplomatic battle, as well as viewpoints policies of the party, create consensus among cadres, party members, and classes of people. Local newspaper stations promoted production covered information on activities towards sea and islands. Also in the morning of December 16th, the meeting on the Southern Regional Road Network planning took place in Kanto City. Under the planning, the road network of the Transport Ministry in 2021-2030 period, vision to 2050 in the southern region, will have another 10 express roads and many groups of other main highways. On the basis of the planning, the Transport Ministry will have the expected list of projects that are prioritized for concentrated investment in each phase. In the afternoon of December 16th, Ho Chi Minh, Cần Thơ and Long An cities had an online workshop with businesses in Hyogo Prefecture of Japan. Attending the workshop were General Concern of Vietnam to Osaka Vũ Tuấn Hải, Director of Hyogo Prefecture's International Affairs, Vice Chairman of Cần Thơ City People's Committee Yung Tấn Hiển, and leaders of Department Centers and the Trade and Investment Promotion Center. Via the online conference, representatives of Vietnamese localities presented the video clips presenting the potential and signature strength of each locality. Kanta City introduced itself as a safe and fruitful destination in the relation between Kanta City and Japan, an economic education training, science, technological and medical center of Miko Delta region, the convergence of many road, air and waterway routes, facilitating economic and cultural exchange. There is an international airport and three seaports that are capable of receiving ships from 5,000 to 20,000 tons. Kanta City has signed a collaborative agreement with Hyogo Prefecture of Okayama City and is looking forward to establishing the connection with other Japanese localities. Many inquiries posed by Japanese businesses regarding connection or keeping in touch have received detailed explanation from Kanta City People's Committee so that they can be confident in connecting with the city. In the morning of December 16th, the Politics Institute of Region No. 4, in combination with the organizing board under Kanta City Party Committee and Kanta City's Politics School, opened the 84th Unconcentrated Training Course on Advanced Political Theory in 2020-2022 course. The course has 69 trainees who are cadres, party members, and are arranged to be leaders in localities, offices, and units. Trainees will be conducted contents on mass Leninism philosophy, mass Leninism political economics, construction of Vietnam Communist Party, socialism science, international relations, politics, and so on. Standing Vice Secretary of Kanta City Party Committee, Cam Chairman of Kanta City People's Council, Phạm Văn Hiếu, stressed that 
the resolution of the 14th Party Congress of Kansas City Party Committee has clearly defined that the quality of the human resource is the important breakthrough in which training cadres and party members is both an urgent work and takes long time, and each trainee must have followed the course in responsible spirit. Nên cứu up by the street people's committee, he just organized the dialogue with representative households located on streets number 2, 3, 6, and 7 in area number 1 and can go Nên cứu up by the street with them to give information, exchange issues relating to the construction of the garbage storage on street number 6 in area number 1 and can go at the meeting, representatives of the Natural Resources and Environment Office of Ninkyu District presented the plan for the waste transfer station with total construction area of 480 square meters, ensuring the distance of 20 meters from residents. The station has the system for automatic deodorization and cleaning for waste trucks before leaving the station. Representatives of the households presented 14 opinions and proposals related to the issues of waste collection and transfer, environmental impacts, and the operation of the waste transfer station. Representatives of authorities, Chairman of Ninkyu District People's Committee Hun Chung Chu, provided explanation for people's proposal and hope that people will accompany the authorities in constructing this project, contribute to building the bright, green, clean, and civilized landscape in the center of Kansas City. On December 15th, the Mission Group of Kansas City's Regulation Office for Building New Style Rural Areas and representative leaders of department centers of the city came to make a sense on reasons of building criteria for advanced new style rural areas in Mekhan and Yang Ai communes. As of now, two localities have achieved and overachieved 19 out of 19 advanced new style rural criteria, specifically 100% of common roads from common center to the district were concretized, 100% of commons has two cultural houses, both two commons have post offices, and 100% of commons have access to internet and other telecommunication services. Average income per capita reaches over 55 million Vietnam dong per person a year. Poor household rates reduced to 0.24% and health insurance coverage reaches 90.02%. On this occasion, the delegation came to survey cultural institutions, schools, clinics, business models, and traffic routes at two commons of Mi Khan and Nhung Ai. Delivering the conclusive speech, delegation representative required two localities to complete their reports according to the contribution of the delegation members and submit to the city New Star Rural Area Moderating Office by December 17, 2020 for submission to the City People's Committee. In 2020, with pioneering and voluntary spirit of the youth, youth unions at all levels in Omom Oba District implement projects and work that brings the benefit worth over 1.5 million Vietnam dong for the state. Youth union members and youth of the district completed seven youth works of the district level and 33 projects and 235 youth works of grassroots level. 3,000 youth members planted 4,500 mangrove apple trees along the routes with high landslide risk in the wards of Trung Lek, Long Hung, Thoi Hoa and Thoi Eng. Jointly organized six medical examination and medicine distribution activities for over 1,800 people with expand for medicine of over 210 million Vietnam dong presented 1,000 gifts with total worth of 210 million Vietnam dong to policy classified families in the world of Yeo Vang Lim, Thoi Long, Long Hung and Thoi Eng. From the program, millions of meals, youth union coordinated with kind-hearted people to give 2,423 meals to people in hardship affected by COVID-19 in the district. Besides, youth union of Omom district has mobilized to build six houses of red scarf, houses of humanitarian, houses of union members with total funds of 370 million Vietnam dong. In response to the 6th EVN Red Week 2020, on December 16th, Kenta Thermal Power Company under the Power Transmission General Company No. 2, located in Phu Thái World, among other districts, organized the voluntary blood donation that attracted majority of employees in participation. 
AT event employees have the company donated 67 units of blood. This is a meaningful activity totally held by Kenter Thermal Electricity Hospital, Omom District Red Cross Society, and Kenter City Thermatology Hospital. The 6th EVN Red Week 2020 is within a series of activities in celebration of the 66th traditional anniversary of Vietnam Electricity Center, December 21st, 1954, December 21st, 2020. This is also the social security activity towards the community held annually by Kenter Thermal Electricity Company with them to educate its employees on the humanitarian spirit of the Nathan Blood to save life and show the nice lifestyle of employees of the power sector. Last but not least, we have the updated weather forecast. The updated weather forecast they just wrapped up this edition of Continues. If you want to watch again in this bulletin, please visit our website, kentertv.vn. And now thanks for being with us. Goodbye and see you next time.